Charbs, a Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jatte by Georges Seurat is one of the most recognizable images in the world, and it's a pretty strange scene. It features a collection of people who have come together from different social classes to lounge in this idyllic landscape on a perfectly sunny day. They all have exceptional posture and they wear beautiful clothes. The image has appeared so frequently in my visual experience that I had never really paused to think about just how quirky this is. This could be because the more obvious talking point is the style of the painting. The painting represents the start of pointillism. It's a huge canvas covered in dots of paint. The awe that this inspires perhaps kept me from questioning the composition. I mean, it's just a bunch of dots. How could somebody talk about something else? But the composition is interesting, if we can ever get over the process and actually take a look at it. Everyone is rigidly posed. Very few people actually interact. Look at these two, walking together perfectly upright, perfectly separated. Of the 40 or so characters depicted, only a small fraction seem to be aware that anybody else is even in the image. Even if they appear in a group with others, they seem remarkably alone. And this loneliness becomes even more pronounced when you stand a little bit closer to the canvas. Or if you zoom a little bit closer on a high definition image of the picture, I'll put a link below. The characters don't really have faces. The primary marker in distinguishing individuality they simultaneously are lumped together as generically human, and they're completely alone. On the surface, this painting looks like such a lovely scene, with the sun shining and the boats passing by, but once I actually started looking at it a bit, I became really sad. I started to understand why the philosopher Ernst Bloch once described this painting as a landscape of painted suicide. This was painted in the 1880s, a period when the population of Paris was spiking due to the blossoming industrial economy. There must have been a certain sense of solitude within those unprecedented masses, a feeling of lost individuality and an impersonal relationship with the sea of humanity that surrounded each person individually. Which brings me back to the first thought everybody has when they see this image. It's just a bunch of dots. Rather than mix of pigments on this palette, Seurat used individual dots of color that don't look like much of anything until you stand a few feet away from the canvas. All these dots exist alone, without interacting with the dots around them. This seems to represent the cultural paradox of extreme urbanization, that even though these people are consolidated and closer to each other, the actual human experience is one of loneliness, a loneliness that good art tries to rescue. So here's a question I'm left with. This painting is extremely well known today, but the artist couldn't sell it in his lifetime. So why is it so widely distributed today even though it was ignored when it was produced? The Metropolitan Museum of Art even voted against purchasing the painting in 1911, and yet today the painting seems inescapable. What about this image has appealed to our culture in the last few decades? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. I put out a new video on the 15th of every month. Thanks for watching.